Good morning, class. Welcome to day three of your narrative art unit. This video is going to discuss today's task list and the assignments that need to be completed for today. So your learning goal for the assignment is to create a narrative illustration, which is a drawing that tells a story, and you're going to create that in color that visually communicates using imagery, backgrounds, and details. And our central question is how do artists communicate these experiences, memories, and values visually? What do they do what do they add to their paper to tell the story as clearly as possible? And like we said in the last couple of days, you want to make sure there's always subjects, uh, basically people or things that um, would help tell the story. The action, what those people or things are doing, um, the, the fine details, the environment as well, where they are, even the color. All those things can help uh, to uh, communicate your experience, experiences visually in art. And a vocabulary word for today is subject. Um, and then getting right into the task list, the first thing you're going to do is just watch the subject video that's going to help you with your entrance ticket questions and answers. So please watch that. It's a short uh, three-minute video or so. Once you've watched that, then you'll have all your answers that you need to complete your entrance ticket for day three. Your questions are what is a subject and how can the subjects in an artwork help the narrative of the artist? Please make sure you answer both questions. And again, both answers are in the video above uh, the subject video. Once you've done the first two tasks and you submitted your entrance ticket, then the, you're going to watch the video How to Blend Colored Pencils. The video is longer. It's about 10 minutes, and I don't expect you to sit here and watch the, the entire video 10 minutes straight. Please feel free to fast forward and pause it as needed. Um, the main purpose is the note below that says to pay close attention to the solid colors and craftsmanship in the video. By watching whatever length of, video or of the video you choose, I just want you to understand how the color pencil should look in your final paper, that it's not um, added quickly and you can still see the grain of the paper. I want to see you guys taking your time, um, really trying to show some solid colors. And the solid colors aren't shown by pressing very hard. You don't need to press into your pencil and um, you know burn out the tip. But just a, a constant back and forth, a nice light layering that just shows time and effort um, when adding your color in your project. Lastly, uh, once you've watched that video and done your entrance ticket, just continue working on your final drawing and submit a photo to today's progress. My, my goal for you for today is just to have completed your line drawing without color. If you've done that, then you're on pace. If you need to add color today to make progress, then please do that because each photo should be a progression from the day before. Um, but as long as you at least have your drawing done today, you should be on track to finishing on time. All right, guys, look forward to seeing your projects, and I will see you in a bit. All right, bye.